What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Rainbow Six Siege. And today I would like to talk about the new update we did receive. Of course, this is the Void Edge update. I play on PS4. This update was 1.83. I'm going to link these patch notes down in the description because there's a lot of small changes and bug fixes that I'm not going to go over because I'm sure most of you don't want to sit here and listen to me drone on for about 20 or 30 minutes about stuff that you may or may not be too concerned with. I'm going to go over some of the bigger changes that came with this update. Like I said, though, if you'd like to read over all of the changes, the patch notes are linked down in the description. Some of the changes we saw for operators, of course, uh, one of the big changes, of course, was for Ella. I made a video about this a few days ago. Ella now has reduced recoil for the first 11 bullets instead of the first 16. Her uh, gun will now have an increased resettle time after burst firing, a faster uptime to increase vertical recoil, and a slight increase to recoil and spread. Everything I've heard so far says this gun has even more recoil than it did uh, before, which is crazy to think about because this gun has always been a very interesting gun to try to learn to use because of the recoil pattern. And from everything I'm hearing now, it's even worse than it was. So this is probably a big change for Ella. I don't know if you will see her picked as much in ranked or unranked. Also, Ying, they removed frag grenades from Ying and replaced that with claymores. Uh, some other character changes or some other operator changes besides the two new operators we got. Of course, we got Oryx and Yana. Of course, there were some changes within the test server for these two characters. If you do not know about Oryx and Yana, Oryx, of course, with the new defender who has speed and agility. He can break through soft walls by just running through them. And he also has some vertical play because he can go through hatches above your head. Of course, Yana is the new operator on offense that will have a replicator. This gadget allows her to deploy a fully controlled holographic copy of herself. I'm definitely interested to hop on and play with these two two new operators. Leave me a comment if you've been on PC in the test server, what do you think about these two new operators? And if you're on console, are you looking forward to playing with the two new operators? Some other things that were changed with operator or operator wise was um, you're looking at changes for Legion and Twitch. Legion will no longer be able to see his goo mines through obstructions. I know a lot of people had issues with that. And when an opposing operator steps on a goo mine, there will no longer be an initial damage. However, if you do leave that dart, that needle with, uh, in your foot, the damage tick has been increased from four to six. Twitch, her, new, her shot drone now will start with three shots, but it will have a cooldown. And its firing has also, or its firing power, has also been reduced to one point of damage. Uh, some other changes that you can expect to see with this update is now when you spawn in the game on the attacking side, your drone will always be on the side that you decided to spawn from. So you don't have to worry about that random drone, you know, location. You will always know that your drone is on the side, that your character is on if you want to bring your drone back out after finding the area you need to go to. Also, you should see more consistent debris. Uh, it says now when you melee, a uh, melee hit a wall or, or not a wall, but a window or a door, you will have much smaller debris. Debris was becoming a big issue in my opinion because sometimes it was definitely obscuring to your vision if you're trying to poke a small hole through a window or a wooden door. Uh, some other changes you should see, of course, are player HUD, uh, hub changes. The player section, the front page, has been made a lot simpler so you can find out what mode you want to go into. And if you are new, there's some new sec or sections for new players as well to kind of learn how to play the game. There is an operator price decrease as well. Mira and Jackal are down to 10,000 renown. Lion and Finca are down to 15,000 renown. And Mozzie and Gridlock have been decreased down to 20,000 renown. Uh, there's three new seasonal weapon skins available this season, each with their own unique style. Um, so check those out if you're looking forward to those new weapon skins. And like I said, guys, everything else was small changes, mainly you're looking at gameplay like small bug fixes, sound fixes, uh, operator bugs where things were not, or their gadgets and stuff was not working correctly. Like I said, I'm going to link all these patch notes down in the description if you want to read over some of those small changes for yourself. But leave me some comments. What do you think about uh, the new update so far? What do you think about this new season? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you get notified when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.